Good morning. What would Jesus do just to save one crazy person? We're looking at today at Mark 5, uh, 1 to 20. We can't read all those verses, but let me read part of it. Here's the story. Jesus gets in a boat with his disciples. They cross over the Sea of Galilee, and they're on the other side. As soon as they get there, a man meets them, and he's, um, he's a demon-possessed person. Let's see what it says. When he saw Jesus from afar, verse 6, following, he ran and worshipped him, and he cried out with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For he said, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. Then he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged him earnestly that he would not send him out of the country. Then we have a big herd of pigs, and the demons plead that if he sends them out, send them into the pigs. And Jesus allows them to go into the pigs. And so he's delivered. The demons are uh, come out and out into the pigs. And so there's people that were feeding the pigs. It was their herd of pigs. Uh, we'll pick it up at verse 11. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountains, so all the demons begged him. So those who fed the swine, so those who fed the swine fled, and they told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that had happened. And then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon-possessed and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him who had been demon-possessed and about the swine. And then they began to plead with him to depart from their region. And of course, when he gets into the... Jesus and his disciples get in the boat to leave, the demon-possessed, the formerly demon-possessed person says, well, please take me. I want to be part of the team. And Jesus says, no, he says this, verse 20, verse 19, rather. Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. And so he went out and preached those things in that place. Interesting story. How many demons can Jesus cast out? So after the demons have been cast out of this man... He wants to kind of join the group. He wants to be with Jesus' team. But Jesus surprises us a little bit. He says, no, don't do that. He says, here's what you need to do. You go and tell your friends what, what God did for you when he had compassion on you. And there's something that each of us as Christians can do as well. We can go and tell our friends what Jesus has done for us. What has God done for me? What has he delivered you from? What has he delivered me from? Uh, people want to know. And so what we can do is we can tell that story, that beautiful story of how Jesus has delivered us. And every single one of us has our own unique story. And that's what the world needs. It needs that witness. So would Jesus cast out thousands to save you? He certainly would. So let's be faithful like this fellow was. And, and we know the answer. Jesus, he can cast out as many as he needs to. Let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he would cross and, and go through the waters uh, to deliver this one person, this one crazy person in the tombs. Not really maybe crazy, but demon had demon influence, demon possession, and therefore was behaving certainly crazy because he wasn't in control of himself. But you came and you delivered him. Thank you for that, and we know you're ready to deliver us as well. Bless each one in the same way, Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. We need the influence of Jesus. We need the influence of God's Holy Spirit in our lives, and he's ready to give you that today. Oh, he is a good God. So if, you're finding these, if, so if you're finding these devotionals to be spiritually uplifting, I just want to encourage you. So if you are finding these devotionals to be spiritually uplifting and helpful, can I just encourage you to maybe tell one or two of your friends about it? Maybe they want to subscribe. If you'll subscribe and tell them about it, we, they'll get notices whenever there's a new one. And that's every single day. God be with you. Have a wonderful day.